this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Since last time, I've rearranged my party as I have listed in the video description because, well, we've gotten all the ultimate equipment that we can get in the game for now. Uh, the only change I've made is I've got Cecil on the Dragon Gloves temporarily here. But, uh, yeah, I decided to rearrange my party for the final battle against Zemus himself, and the other party, not so useful against him. So, at least that particular arrangement of that party, so... This, I think, is the ultimate party for defeating him. Someone was asking, H.C. Bailey, when you were fighting those Death Masks and using the Lightning Claws, why not cast Thundaga on him? Well, the reason is because Death Masks are considered a machine-type enemy, which Lightning Claws and Lightning Arrows can exploit. They aren't weak to the Thunder element. Yeah, nice thing about exploiting creature types, you deal quadruple damage for that. Elemental exploitation only doubles your damage. And here we get a Gasal whistle. You can use it to summon the fat chocobo anywhere. Now this part is where it gets a little tricky. There's only three enemies you can meet up with on the upper floors. The Death Masks, uh, Behemoths, and Red Dragons. This floor, you can meet up with large groups of them. So you want to be a little careful here. Like against these guys! Holy crap, three of them. Now you can only see one of them. Oh, I already have the Ice Claws equipped. Okay, never mind. You can only see one of the Red Dragons at a time. Now I'm going to leave Kane on the ground there, because uh, with the Dragon equipment, you can't... You basically take very little damage from dragons. So, yeah, you see how little damage he's taken there? So, leave him on the ground. Leave Cecil on the ground with at least one piece of dragon equipment. And then just go nuts with Leviathan. If you have Edge in your party, you could use Flood, because there's three of them. You just can only see one of them at a time. And then maybe I should have used Blazaga, but oh well. But yeah, that's the thing with... Uh, Dragoons, and Final Fantasy games in general, is they kind of seem to be a contradiction unto themselves because they're a heavy armor class, so they're designed to mitigate damage, but they always jump in the air so that they can't be on the ground to mitigate that damage. So it's like, what's the point? Why bother? By the way, Rydia has the gold hairpin, which can also... Uh, it is also very strong against dragons. Let's put those Artemis arrows to use. I don't have the Minerva's robe for her for now, so... Oh well. Uh, maybe go with Blizzara. I'm not gonna get a Blizzaga in on time, but... But anyway, when you run into large groups of these guys, make sure to use your Leviathan against him, or he will kill you! Now, unfortunately, Rydia does not have Flare. So, that's going to hurt us a little bit, but, I mean, we have, we have Bahamut, so. We got Mega Flare! There is a particular reason why I like Rydia here over Palum. You will see why. Okay, last floor. What is that in the background there? The sun? Or the core? I'm guessing that's the core of the moon. Let's see, there's two new enemies around here. One of them is Zemus' Malice. Okay, these guys, they are pretty much immune to physical attacks. I will show you. Yeah, see, nothing we can do there. Uh, I wonder how the Holy Lance would work on him. You use the Holy Lance, you can cast Holy! It's not going to be very powerful. Yeah, not much. Because you, you don't have a multiplier for it, so... Oh, well. let's go with Bahamut. And, oh, I just learned Holy. All right. I was going to say, I didn't think I had learned Holy, but apparently I did. Um, Cecil? Oh, okay. I was going to say, whack him upside the head. But, uh, nah, I guess we don't need to do that. I'll be honest, I kind of have a soft spot for the original Holy animation in the Super Nintendo version of the game. Oh, ignore Protect and Shell. It's completely worthless. Well, that's a wicked glow you got there. What is this, a rave party? Not that I would know what a rave is like. I, uh, my knowledge of raves is limited to what you, I've seen in TV shows and movies. And somehow I doubt that that's what it's like in real life. You know, I wonder, would a focus be powerful enough to break through that? Probably not, but well, it's worth a shot. Got nothing better to do. Do I have any items? 
spider silk, but that's it. I don't think Ragnarok does anything, so... Oh, well. Yeah, let's just go with another holy and that ought to do. You don't have to kill these guys, I'm just... Oh, okay. I guess that works. Yeah, you don't have to kill these guys. I'm just doing it just to clear the bestiary entry in case you don't feel like fighting them for some reason. I don't know. All right. Well, lots of money. Not that I have anything to really spend it on, but... Well, actually, there is. I'll... I'll show you in a bonus episode. Let's see, one more enemy around here. There's a final teleporter. Let's just walk around for a little while. Okay, there's the last one. Zemus's Breath. Uh, this is the opposite of Zemus's Malice. It's immune... or I don't know if it's immune to magic. But physical attacks will work on him. So that's what we want to do. Why he's casting Libra on us... I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. Maybe it's, well, literally what he's saying he's doing, reporting to Zemus. I don't know. Let's see, uh, yeah, no particular elemental weakness for Zemus's breath. Just go all out with your physical attacks. That's all you need. Oh, I should probably get back on the, uh, Sage's staff about now, huh? And switch, uh, Cecil and Kane's, uh, the gloves, because I don't need the dragon gloves on Cecil anymore. Okay, that... Oh, no, that doesn't quite do it. These guys have about 20,000 HP, if I recall correctly. So, okay, let's fast forward through this. Is that enough? Okay, I guess they're not immune to magic. Well, there you go. Oh, Rosa's fighting? Huh. I thought I had her on aim, which she didn't have an arrow for, so she couldn't do anything. That would have been funny if that actually killed her. Or him. Whatever. Okay, I guess this guy has a bit more than 20,000 HP. What is that thing, anyway? It's like, uh... What was that guy? Kind of reminds me of Clayface. For some reason. Just the way he's kind of melting there, or something like that. Wow, this guy actually is pretty tough. Maybe he is. I guess he has a lot more HP. These are the last enemies that you can normally meet up with in the original Final Fantasy IV. Okay, let's uh, get Holy going, I guess. What else can I do? I don't think this guy actually does anything. All he does is just cast Libra on you over and over and over again. I don't know, maybe confusing him would get him to do something. Alright, got him. Man, they even dissolve like bosses around here. I kind of like how every random battle around here has boss music to it. Okay, well I want to take a moment to heal up here and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. And of course, you know we're getting too close to the end because... It's uh, all getting symmetrical. Absolutely. For boss time. Whoa, Golbez, you got a lot smaller. Can you imagine if we actually got to control Golbez? That would be so badass. But no, we don't get to control him. This is a scripted battle. Oh, well. He really does remind me of, uh, what was that guy in... Uh, Final Fantasy 3. The bad guy. Zandi? Something like that? Zand? I don't know. Something like that. I don't think that works really well on him. There's some enemies that if you use hold or sleep on, they'll just like almost instantly recover from it. Like, uh, gold dragons I know, if you put sleep with like cat claws, they'll just wake up instantly from it. But they won't counterattack because they were put to sleep for at least a brief moment. I turned down the battle message speed. Hopefully, that'll help with the dialogue and, and the automatic cutscene. Twin Meteor? It looks exactly like the original Meteor. Would have been cool if they gave it a, a different animation. But, oh well. Man, even Golbez can cast Meteor. Holy cow! Well, all right, got him. I like how he has his arms up there like that. Wiggity whack. 
And like all good final bosses, he melts and dissolves. <laughs> Just fall flat on his face. Kind of reminds me of Kina. I kind of like how Golbez is is like the antithesis of Cecil, where he's like, uh, well, he has all the armor and stuff, but he uses black magic while Cecil uses white magic. All right, there we go. I guess I didn't have anything to worry about after all. That was much easier than I thought it would be. Well, let's just uh, pack up our bags and go home. What's going on? He's just dying, right? Like, the Jedi, they... Oh, or that. That's... How bad could it possibly be? Whoa, holy crap! That's... I love how they use this music in the cutscene here. You know music is really good when... It works in battles and cutscenes. I'll be honest, I like that line better in the deep, well, other versions of the game. Where Fuso Fusoya is just like, BE GONE! Like, totally over the top like that. I think they did that in the voice acting in the DS version, if I recall correctly. But yeah, it's just so beautiful like that. Nuts. How can he absorb Meteor? Well, for those who don't know, Meteor is actually considered Holy Elemental. For some reason, I don't know why, but there you go. So that's how Zeromus is able to absorb Meteor. He can, well, he absorbs Holy Elemental attacks. Which doesn't exactly quite make sense plot-wise, but, well, we'll go with it anyway. What was that? Well, what's the worst he could possibly do? Nuts. Bad guy with Meteor. Quick, equip something that absorbs holy elemental attacks! Oh, I don't, I don't, think, that, I don't think there's anything that absorbs anything. Besides the curse ring. Well, that didn't work out so well. But what do we do now? Is there any hope left for the world? Can we defeat Zeromus and save the world? Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. I'll see you in hell!